What's that? It's Pete here. We're back in the shop again today. Gonna have a little bit of news for you. If you're familiar with Brant Moore, he had a concussion a couple weeks ago. Um, knocked himself out at the trails over there in Ohio. So if you guys want to help support the dude, you can get a chance to win a frame while you're at it. Go over to his Instagram and check out the links to the raffle. He's giving away two Sunday frames and some other little goodies so be sure to get over there and try and get in on that before the giveaway at the end of the month. Also if you haven't checked it out yet there is a new heavy pedals out there on the scene so go over and check out heavy pedals and get your new zine because well everybody needs to support those guys it's super rad to have guys trying to put effort into doing print BMX it's something that's kind of a dead art but it's really coming back so hop on it get on it before they're gone and then on to me. After selling off all of my bikes to get this place started, well, except for my BMX bikes, of course, I have finally gotten a new mountain bike. Got a Soma Fab Valhallen frame. It's a pretty sick setup. The bike's got a Suntour fork. It's a Radeon 34. Got it set up with 130 millimeters of travel. Rode the thing last night, and it's just super smooth. Like, at no point does it feel like it's gonna give out on you or dip or dive just straight solid compression every stroke I love it yeah also you get Shimano Dior brakes Fox 9 shifting didn't go too fancy with the build because you know I don't have tons of money and I knew I was gonna end up riding this bike eventually so it's sick put my Fox transfer post in there because I had that already and you know you got this nice long and low you need all that dropper you can get so it's 150 millimeters of drop so when I get out there on the trail it really gets out of the way and the bike feels super nimble this bike could be built up with 29s or 650s went with 650s on it because I wanted to play around jump it as much as I could last bike was a 29er super fast and a lot of fun but I'm not a racer so let's have some fun out there in the woods We've had some really good weather here the last few weeks. And even though we're coming into the winter here in West Virginia, it's been like 50 to 70 degrees throughout the daytime. So I was really hoping to get a bunch of riding in. And then I got this bike yesterday. It started raining today out of nowhere. Just straight rain all day. I'm going to try and get out tomorrow and do a ride. I'm totally out of shape because I haven't done any mountain biking for like three months now. And I'm going to go out with some dudes who are going to probably beat my doors off. So we'll see about that and how much fun I can have being the um, out of shape dude in the group. But I really want to go out with those dudes because they know where all the rad trails are up in Canal State Forest, where all the jumps are, and I want to send this fork. A lot of people are always talking about how they need this super expensive Fox fork or a Rock Shock fork. I've only spent about an hour on this fork, but it feels better than any Fox Fork I've ever ridden. I'm just gonna say it, it does. The compression on this is ridiculous. I don't care how much money you're spending on suspension technology right now, try a Suntour high-end fork. We all know that they have the low-end market cornered and everybody sees their low-end forks and thinks that they don't make a good quality product. Well, if you can make a fork that's gonna last for 15 years on a bike that's sold for $700, I'm pretty sure the fork you make that costs $700 is going to hold up for a lot longer and be very durable. But I was just so surprised with the action on this. It felt so stiff, like every time you turn the fork, it just goes where you want. There's no give in it. It's got those 34 millimeter stanchions on there. And it just so smooth and supple. There's just the most consistent rate of compression on it there's never any dead spot where it's just a whole lot of give or it packs up I, I can't wait to go out and ride it and give you guys a better review on it so for now I'm gonna get back to playing with some stuff here in the shop and then I'm gonna give you guys a tour of Pete's bike shop because I got a request for that from some people you guys have seen the corners or this and that so I'm gonna walk around and show you guys exactly how small this place really is I love it it's a small little shop it's enough to keep me happy and provide people with bikes. Hopefully we'll have some more bikes coming through here soon. With picking up Diamondback, they should have some bikes here in the country. So if you need a Diamondback and you're in West Virginia, call me. Also if you need a Breadline BMX bike, call me.
I can do that. Mm-hmm. Haro, Diamondback, Redline, Scott. Those are the main brands that we carry here at Pete's Bike Shop. And Mossy. Let's not forget Mossy. Because Mossy makes some sweet road bikes. I'm going to go ahead and give you all a little tour around the shop, let you guys see what all we have to offer here at Pete's Bike Shop. So right here you can see some of our sweet custom hardtails. Since bikes are really hard to get, I've been building them. I just took this one for my own bike because, well, you know, you got to have a bike. And you guys have seen that bike highlighted in the video so far. This one is a large. It's got a 140 millimeter fork on there. It's an XCR. It's a little step down, but it's giving you a little bit more travel. Still got rebound adjustment, air tuning. It's really nice. Box shifting once again. This bike is going to be right at $1,650. So shaved the price down just a little bit. Made it nice and uh, sturdy. Got a big oversized 35 millimeter bar. So when you're jumping off those big drops, you're not going to have to worry about if that bar is going to give out on you. And yeah, so that's pretty sweet. Let's check out all of our sweet tires and stuff. So over here on the accessories wall, you'll find most of our cool parts and accessories, tires, chains, stands, sealant, lubes, all that good stuff, mark guards, tires. Try to have everything you're going to need for your bike out there. Being a new shop, it's hard to know right offhand everything. So I'm just building it up as it goes along. There's always the core items you got to have, but every day there's always something that I just don't seem to have. But if you come in, I will try and get what you need, if I don't have it already. Now we'll take a look at some of the bikes we have here. Here are some of the push bikes we have from Redline. Some of our mountain bikes and our road bikes. And right as you walk in, we have a couple of used mountain bikes and our prize BMX collection, featuring some Redlines and Haro bicycles. So as you can see, the place isn't too big, but it's not too small either. We've got a shelf over here by the cash register with all of the BMX gear. So if you need grips, pedals, tires, seats, pegs, all that fun stuff. And we stash some of the repairs in the hallway on the other side. And we're here in the office. This is where I do all the ordering, check out all the sweet bikes that are coming out, watch my YouTube videos when nobody's around. Because, you know, it's always a diligent life as a shop owner and mechanic and salesman and janitor and garbage man and all that stuff. But you do what you got to do, and things are going pretty well, so I'm really thankful for that. And I really appreciate you all joining me. Thanks for hitting the subscribe button down there. If you haven't already, be sure to do that because it really helps out the channel. We'll be able to get more videos out with the more support we get from you all. And hit the like button. helps out as well. And if you want, put a comment down there. Put a share on the social medias, you know. Everybody loves that. Um, because if you share it on your social media and your friends watch it, then they'll be like, wow, you're so cool. I swear to God.